This is Bob Davis 321 back with my uh, rebuild of the CNC machine. Turned it around the other way too so you can't see all the electronics now back in behind there. Some changes including include the uh, bury in this cable. It's now inside here although it needs to be fastened to a wire tie up on the side there yet. So other than the power cord coming around there you can hardly see any of the wiring. It's all basically hidden away. I don't have the stop switches yet, but uh, it now actually moves the uh, axes around. I notice every now and then that one seems to jam. I don't know why. It's not because it's messed up. I think it's because the clock phase is just a little bit high for the uh, controller. Or maybe there's a little bit of torque there. Because it only does it at the one end. So maybe the one of the rods is a little bit crooked. That wouldn't be the first time I've had that problem. Up here we have the uh, x-axis. It rumbles a little bit at the right end. I don't know if you can hear it there. It's a low frequency rumble indicating there's something a little off there. And of course the z-axis isn't built yet. So it's got a ways to go. It looks like it wobbles a tiny bit too. So I need to work on that I guess. The problem there is the shaft was a little bit bigger than a quarter of an inch so I had to drill out the coupling and I might have drilled it a little bit crooked because it's not quite on center. So as soon as I get my uh, shaft holders, these things here, in for the z-axis, I think I'll have everything I need to make it work too and then we can... Ah, see there it jammed going the other direction. have fun do two things at once. So there we have it. The X and Y axis are now working.